on today's episode of Zoo Flipper, Rotten Apples of the Eye. It seems like there is nothing guests happen to hate more than hearing the rumble of an engine. You think they would appreciate having clean water to drink from the water filtration system, but it simply isn't so. All of those amazing rest spots where hard-working staff can finally put up their poop-covered boots and take a rest? Well, unfortunately, guests hate seeing those, too. And even though you think the guests would understand that all of these wonderful animals they've come to see need a place to eat and food being prepared for them, unfortunately, they even see the keeper's huts as rotten apples of their eyes. Today's episode of Zoo Flippers is brought to you by Pixel Biology University. A leader in studying pixelized biology for the last seven years, Pixel Biology University is proud to announce plans for a new expedition into the ice islands, known to house the mysterious creatures known as nichelings. If you would like to join the expedition, be sure to stop by the biology department to join the playlist. And finally, my friends, that brings us to today's episode of Zoo Flipper, where we are going to hit pause and go ahead and get ready for another day of fixing everything that has gone wrong in Zoodessia Zoo, one flip at a time. Because holy cow, there is so much more I want to change about this entire place. I have learned so much more in how I want to decorate and how I want to manage a zoo and the things that you need to do to really make sure that you're making money from your guest and that, you know, you don't go bankrupt. But we need to start with everything one flip at a time. And so last time we handled the litter bug issue, which because we're keeping things kind of on pause, I think we do still have a few litter bug problems. Let's just check this out. Why are you guys unhappy? Oh, a whole bunch of people really need to eat and they're starving and they're all headed home. Okay, well, that's not ideal, but does it have anything to do with being litter bugs? Okay, there's a little bit of a litter bug spot right there. And we need to have a caretaker come back here. We kind of need to have somebody who just like lives in this back area as well. Um, but let's see, is there anything else? No, otherwise our litter bug problem seems to really be being managed. Oh, we have some vandalism right over here though. That's not ideal. Can I reach that somehow? Let's see, it's hiding under a fern. Okay, let's go ahead, scoot that rock over a little bit. Thank you very much. Okay, now we're grabbing the barrier instead. Okay, that's fine. I see how it is. That's just great. That's that's gravy. We're just coming up roses, aren't we? All right, look, I'm just trying to... Ugh, okay. All right. There we go. Now we have fixed the educational speaker. And why not let there be education? Learn something about pandas, people. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and put these back really quickly. All right, that was not part of today's agenda of taking care of the rotten apples of the eye, but it was worth checking in on after our last zoo flipper. So today we're actually going to go through and we are going to move all of these buildings. I can't believe I am such a goose. I cannot believe that I just left these sitting out where people are constantly going to be seeing staff facilities and they're going to be upset as a result. So we're going to go ahead and try to fix this problem because it's a big problem with the zoo today beginning with this spot because it's just so clearly not the right location not the right situation uh and it's kind of overkill i mean this is a lot of money i feel like we have over here that's a thousand okay it's only a thousand it's not as much money as i thought uh we're gonna go ahead and actually just pluck the there we go the water treatment out of this whole thing because I don't really think the design fits with what we're going for anymore. And we're going to pluck the transformer out. There we go. And then let's go ahead and let's get this thing free from the group as well. And we're just going to get rid of this whole group setting. There we go. And that saved us $800, which we really need 800 smacks lately. So hopefully that will help. Uh, and then I actually kind of want to redo some of this. So what is this? This is a staff room. Okay. Which means we really, huh? Is this the, yeah, the extra large Asian staff room. 
I think we should go ahead and we should move this. I think that the staff room, let's make sure it doesn't reach a range to affect guests, but it actually could come and wiggle a little bit closer so that we could have a better spot for our staff to rest. So let's see how close we can risk the biscuit before making guests upset. This is about as close as we can get and any closer will upset them. But I think that we should have the staff room more accessible to our staff so that they don't feel like they have to walk that far because every little footstep adds up when they're that exhausted. So we're going to move the staff facilities right over here. And then instead of having two keeper huts, this is actually a really cute little keeper hut. It's Juliana's keeper hut. I thought it was really cute over there, but holy cow, it has a very negative impact. I think this is ridiculous. I have paid money from my own pockets, cash money from my pockets that I have saved up from, you know, all of this big weird career of yammering in your guys' ears about fun stories and sharing them with you uh, to see these facilities in real life. I have I have paid money for behind the scenes tours of zoological facilities that are AZA accredited so that I could really get a view of how it works to take care of these animals and to take care of the plants and all of the other wildlife that makes up a zoo. And I can't believe these people don't want free looks. Free looks! This is normally VIP tour level stuff. So I'm a little offended about that, but we're going to go ahead and remove it. And we're going to come over here and we're going to go ahead and remove this which bear in mind, that means we're gonna to need to assign our keepers to new locations. And while we're at it, let's actually come in and just completely redo this spot too, because this is ridiculous. Like this poor keeper has had to wander oh so freaking far to get back here for no good reason. <laughs> let's go ahead and get a habitat gate. We're gonna, can I move this habitat gate? Let's edit barrier. All right, can I move this or? Okay, we're gonna delete that habitat gate. Every all apparently our tortoises have escaped. <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. Oh my gosh. We're gonna go ahead and flatten the foundation this little section that we made. We'll have to we're gonna redo this whole tortoise area soon, don't worry. Like they're gonna have a special time of it. And let's get wooden habitat gate right over here. I mean, that was perfect. Beautiful. That's all we needed. And we'll get a new little path put down. I don't need any railing. There we go. Voila! And so now we have a cute little gate over there. And then we're gonna come over on this side and we're actually going to put down a new large, I don't even think we need a large keeper hut actually, but we're gonna put down a uh, small Asian keeper hut. Uh, now I have to spend money getting a new one because I am such a dork. I can't believe that. Wasn't paying attention. Oh well. And again, let's make sure it doesn't upset the guest. We don't have a ton of money right now. Zoo Flipper might be constrained by just having to like watch ye olde funds at this point. But I kind of want to make a cute little spot where it can look a little bit like a tiny village right there. There we go. And then we're gonna grab, we do not have any animal escapes. We're good, we're good. We're gonna grab these facilities and let's actually tuck them right up against the edge. Flat terrain, grid size, grid height, auto stacking. No, I don't want it to auto stack on existing grid objects. Thank you very much. Um, hidden height barrier, flattened terrain. Hmm. All right, I wish that I could figure out how to move these a little better, but I think because of what they are and how sensitive they are, you can't really move them with quite the level of finesse I wish I could. And let's grab this transformer. And we're gonna go ahead and I don't want it in this fancy pansy group. I just want it, there we go. 
All right, so now we've got those kind of tucked at the back. We'll have to check to make sure that what they're supposed to be covering, they can still reach. And then, oh, did I make a little, a little bridge right here? Well, you know what? It's kind of cute, so I can, I can forgive it. And there we go. All right, did I put that on curved slopes? Railing on elevated. Apparently that made like a little elevated area. Interesting. You know what? It looks kind of cute when it's just that itty bitty little bit of railing. So I can totally put up with that. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna put short grass over here. Short grass, short grass, short grass. There we go. And then let's come in and we'll add some sand for the poor tortoises. I, I swear, we'll zoo flip one of the, the tortoise exhibits and other exhibits sometime soon. But all right, so now we have repositioned a few things. Let's make sure that that doesn't bother the guest. Yeah, it's no longer overlapping with the negative impacts. Let's make sure that we still have water treatment everywhere. Yep. And we still have electricity, yes. Okay, so it still has the appropriate reaches so that it will go out to everybody, but we need to reassign some of the keepers. So let's start another new work zone. These zoo flipped work zones are very important. We're going to add everything over here and everything over here. And then these things too. And maybe the pandas. Hmm. Well, panda entrance is way over there. So I actually think that would be a bad idea. And we're going to be expanding stuff over here sometime soon. So this is actually going to be a uh, tortoise. So tortoise bug village and tortoise uh, pier, because we're going to be really changing up this area in the future. All right, so we have Bug Village and Tortoise Pier. And then let's find the staff that we want to stay assigned to there. So anybody who's assigned, okay, Caretaker Potato has no work zone, but I wanna put over by the pangolins in the future. Let's have Forest Land. Oh, I need to get the randomized name list again so that you guys can come over and be part of this. We're gonna have Forest Land come and be a level three caretaker who should hopefully manage these areas. And then I'm gonna need Tortoise Keeper Panda. He's actually going to come over and we're gonna get rid of Tortoise Contemplation Zone and he's gonna come and be here instead. We're gonna get rid of Bug Village too. There we go. And then we don't really need a mechanic over here, but we'll put Mechanic Jelly. Yeah, I think Mechanic Jelly We'll assign to Bug Village and Tortoise Pier for now. And then we'll assign Security Guard Caitlin to the same area. And then we have no work zones on these vendors because I'm apparently just giving them a miserable existence. That's so sad. Does Bug Zone, Bug Village and Tortoise Pier include, it does include one, two, three, four, five little shops. And we'll have more shops as time goes on when we add in shops over here as well. Uh, and we'll include these shops too. So we let's just grab a bunch of unassigned vendors at random who have no work zone. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stick them into Bug Village and Tortoise Pier. All right, shopkeeper Angie. These poor people, like they just haven't even had a chance. There we go. And then let's name this new staff room. Here we go. This is going to be uh, Tortoise uh, Glade. Uh, let's see. Tortoise, tortoise Rest House. Or Tortoise Rest House. Yeah, that, that will be what we call that. And this will be um, Bug Forest. Bug Forest Feeding. Mm, station. There we go. All right. Hopefully that will manage everything okay. But all right. Let's go ahead and figure out the next areas where there's a big negative impact on guests. We'll unpause. Ha -ha, look at everybody suddenly happy with us again. Huzzah. Uh, let's see. Let's see. 
no negative impact reaching over here, but we do have a problem with, of all freaking things, the, is it the water filter or the transformer? Oh, yes, yes, yes. We do indeed have a problem with the transformer right over here. And if we moved the path this way, we would solve that problem. This is a simple, super easy peasy fix. Thank goodness. Where all we need to do is just make the path not... We need to meander between these two sections with care. Oh my goodness gracious, why is that bathroom <laughs> nigh impossible to collect, connect? Holy cow. All right, we're gonna need to move that bathroom. We'll worry about that in a minute. I want this first, and then we'll move the bathroom in a second. Oh, I love it when things are possibly an easier fix than you were worried about. All right, let's get down here. And we'll connect that. And then we'll come over this way. And now we need just a little snippet of a staff path so people know not to come over this zone. And then I feel like this is an underutilized area. Hmm. We'll, we'll fix and play with that later. For now, we'll put that there. All right, let's see. Did we do it? I think we may have flipped it, friends. I think we may have made it. There's a little spot right here where people need to go ahead and we have to have a caretaker clean up that litter. But, and a little litter over here and a little litter over there. But I think we flipped it so that guests will not... Let's see. Yeah, guests should not actually end up... Mm, checking it, checking it. We're in the clear! Huzzah! All right. Well, that's fantastic. Also, let's grab a caretaker if I happen to have one. Mm, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. Working, commuting, caretaker in the linea. Oh, oh, oh. Perfect. Come up here, friend. If you could, please. All right. There we go. That litter is now taken care of. Rotten apples of the eye, no more. All right. Holy cow, it is so much harder than I remember to get through all of these things so quickly. Um, is anyone ending up influenced by this water treatment plant? Do I need two water treatment plants right there? What happens if we get rid of it? I don't think we do. Because as long as a habitat has some water treatment, it, it'll be fine. So huzzah! All right, that's taken care of. This is not bothering anyone. Those aren't bothering anyone. This is terrible. This is awful. This is definitely a rotten apple in the eye. Let's grab, let's grab caretaker Leila because he did such a good job. You can't get to your work zones. I'm sorry, friend. You need to get over here. All right, he's going to take care of all of that. And are there any other spots where guests are exposed? Oh, right down here. We're awful heckin' close. Are they exposed? Ooh, just barely. Can I move these things? Let's see. Can it be done? Just, oh, what a pain. All right, if I select everything just right, then yes, we can go ahead and just scooch it all over a little bit, like so. All right, so that's scooched in. This shouldn't bother guest. This should no longer bother guest. These, ha ha, should not bother guest. Now we need to move the trash can though, so that guest can go ahead and reach this bin. We have so much to clean up. It's it's a little bit chaos here. I know it's not pretty, but the important thing is people will hopefully no longer be infuriated. Oh dear, and there's protesters. Oh no, not At-At. We might have to do a zoo flipper where we take care of At-At. But let's triple check that the, all of the rotten apples are out of guest eyes. Gosh, I wanna upgrade so much of this stuff. All right, I think we're good. We just have to wait for 
all of this litter to be cleaned up. I think we're going to go ahead and reassign this guy to over here. Uh, is this even a zone? You know what? We're going to make so many new zones. This is just going to be a spot clean. Good job, caretaker Lilia. We'll give him a slight raise and give him some staff training. Because he was our man when we really needed help. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so messy. Uh, all right, well, we have a lot to do, you guys. There is still plenty we need to flip, but those were two of the most egregious and outstanding things in my eyes that we really, really needed to maintain. Uh, the terrible, terrible work zones. In fact, let's go ahead and while I'm thinking about it, all right, Lila, my dude, oh, he's so good. Look at that, fantastic. In fact, why I am thinking about it, let's actually pop into our work zones. We're going to delete the bug village and we're going to delete Tortoise Contemplation Island and focus on these new events we have. Uh, all right, there we go. Now we really need to make sure that we can start making more money because, uh, yeah, we're, we're sort of losing money hand over fist and we've still got more to do. <laughs> so, all right, guys, there, the rotten apples of the guest eyes are taken care of. I'm triple checking just to make sure there's a lot we need to fix and there's a lot of questionable stuff that is happening. And now we have some protesters wandering through. So we definitely need to get rid of the protesters because there is no way to get rid of guests faster than having protesters. So I think since they are protesting our boy at 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 and at at the second, are they seriously protesting him because at at and at the second were in boxes? Boys! It was that easy? Boys. Seriously? Seriously? I'm not impressed, you silly, silly geese. <laughs> All right, well, thankfully that was an easy fix. So we're gonna pick something to flip for next time. If you guys could, do please leave a like for the ever evolving improvements that we are adding into the zoo. Look at them come down here to munch. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and admire they're munching crunching on this bamboo. Look at how freaking cute they are. I I cannot wait until one day we're gonna be able to upgrade Zudesia Zoo and make it awesome enough that we will have and we will celebrate being able to have generations of golden pandas. Ha, huh. it'll be hard work, but I know we can do it. But all right guys, if you could do please leave a like for our adorable pandas and for the fact there are no more rotten apples in the eyes. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.